Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 20, the last in this series of my Traveller's Notebook with Freckled Fawn series. I'm gutted that this has come to an end, um, but my journey with Freckled Fawn continues um, since I um, was asked to join the design team, which of course I said yes. Um, so yeah, sad, but also very, very happy at the same time. So um, have you ever printed on acetate? I have never printed on acetate and I thought I would give it a go. I thought it'd be cool um, to print on a um, piece of acetate and see how it looks in the pocket. And I think it looks awesome. So I printed, um, this is actually printable acetate. I did have to leave it for quite a long time. I say quite a long time, about 20 minutes to dry fully. Um, and I think it depends on the um, quality of your printer and your ink and that sort of thing as to how long it will take to dry. I did blast it with a heat gun as well just to speed it along the way. But just be careful because not all acetate is heat resistant. Most isn't because it's plastic. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love how the printed acetate photo looks in the pockets. So I printed my photograph at about four and a quarter by eight and a half um, and it's roughly the right size to go into that pocket. But I did just need to trim down the side a little bit. It was just a bit snug and buckling a tiny amount and just slipping that straight into the pocket. I'm not going to do anything else with that photo. Um, so next on to the left hand side. So. As you've seen in previous videos, my um, stash of freckled fawn bits have been dwindling and I'm really having to think outside the box to really stretch um, these layouts with the kit that I've got left. I've been absolutely determined that I'm not going to dig into um, any of my other bits of stash and my new freckled fawn monthly kit has arrived as well. There'll be an unboxing video um, on my channel very shortly with that. So what I decided to do is have a look through um, the bits that I actually have left. And you can see there, I've got a few of these labels. So I start layering the labels. I don't quite know when I start doing this, I don't quite know where I'm going with it. I know I want to have um, a whole load of labels layered and then um, I'm gonna add some embellishments on top. So I do a mixture of the um, blue, blue, blue and green labels and then these silver ones as well. So I'm just alternating the, the silver ones in with the blue and green ones and mixing up the shapes as well. So using the oval ones and using the uh, rectangular ones. And then these, these um, I think it's like a black, black checkered one. That makes it on there as well. And I'm trying to use up all of the labels on this, but I fail. I fail by this one. Um, it's an orange label, but I had nothing else orange to go with it or, um, yeah, orange, corally orange. It's more of an orange. Um, but yeah, I had nothing left to go with it. So um, it makes its way into the trash, that one, I'm afraid. I can't see that I've got anything else that's going to go with it. So there's no point in hanging on to one lonely label. Um, so you'll see... When, um, when I finish a package of anything, I do tend to rip it in half. It's something quite satisfying about that. Do you have any other rituals as well that you do when, um, when you've done something? For me, it is finishing something, I, I rip it in half. And I couldn't rip that last one in half because I hadn't quite finished it. It was just one label left on there. So next up on here, I have some alpha stickers. I have a few of these puffy words left. And I don't care that they don't spell out a title. They are going on here regardless. So I'm using the words there. I'm using the word wow. And I'm just using the spaces within those labels to add these words in. And the word yes. And that's going in the bottom there. And um, initially I was going to do a bit of a doodly border around this. But I decided that because the photograph was so heavily black on the, on the right hand side... Um, that that it didn't need any more black on this side so I'm quite happy with the um, the puffy uh, black words there doing the job for me. Next I come in with these foam phrase words and you can see there I've only got a few left as well 
and they're not all going to make it on here um, and I see this word happy and then I thought I would angle that around the oval I quite like the the look of that because everything's very um straight very horizontal at the moment so I wanted to bring a little bit of um interest and I use this word wish as well and I'm going to make that word go the other way for um just a bit, bit of something different. And then I've got a couple of these little foam uh, heart. I was going to say foam words. Foam hearts left on the sheet as well. And this arrow as well. That's all going to make it onto this layout. And um, once I can get that arrow nice and straight. Which it appears I can't. Um, so that is the black puffy words and the white foam words on there. Next up is my title and it's just going to be something really simple as Day at the Zoo. So for Christmas I bought my husband a, or I bought a joint um, pass to ZSL so we can get into Whipsnade and into London Zoo. And so we made the most of it. Um, we had a couple of days off work and we went up to Whipsnade for the day. It was absolutely freezing. It was raining, it was cold. Um, I think it was like one degree or something. It was it was just horrendous. Um, but we enjoyed it because um, the zoo was quiet. There was hardly anyone in there. We got to go and see the animals and not sort of have to jostle other people to get there. And we stopped. We packed a picnic and we stopped and just sat on a bench under a shelter and just ate our ate our picnic. And it was it was just really nice to spend the day together. Um, you see there, I've got the black alphas again. I'm desperate to try and use some more of them. Um, I can't put them down. Yeah, so we had a lovely day at the zoo, but it was absolutely freezing. Um, and that's why in the photo you can see just off screen there, um, the photograph is me pointing at, pointing at the giraffe sign. It's my Giraffes are my favourite animal. You go, you've learned something new about me today. Um, giraffes are my favourite animal. And we were at the giraffe enclosure and um, James grabbed a, cell, uh, a picture of me pointing to the giraffe sign. And I did have my scarf over my face because it was so cold. So there is a reason for that. Uh, so I'm just adding in um, a few of these little wood veneer hearts. I think that's all of the wood veneer hearts used now. And just using some wet glue, those, that seems to be the best medium to be able to stick, um, adhesive to be able to stick these down. And a couple of those little teal uh, heart, enamel hearts as well. Can you tell what are my least favourite colours from what you can see on screen at the moment? Apart from the pink... <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of green and yellow uh, neither of which are um, in my in my tones you can see that I've got those left um, so they'll go into my stash and I'm sure there'll be um, a time that will come that I will use those um, but yeah I do struggle with um, I've said before green yellow brown orange just not my colors and we all have our favorites right so I'm just going to add on I think I'm just going to add the date on now. Um, I don't really need to do any journaling because there's not really a story to tell. And my title there says Day at the Zoo. <clears throat> I might add on exactly which zoo we were at just so when I look back on this in future, I'll know where we were. And yeah, just the date stamp with that. And this is pretty much done. So I just wanted to thank you all for joining me um, over this series. I hope it has brought you some inspiration as to, <clears throat> excuse me, how you can use a traveller's notebook um, and especially the um, all the freckled fawn um, pocket page ones are absolutely brilliant. Um, do If you have enjoyed this series, please do give the video a thumbs up. It does help other people find me on YouTube as well, which really helps. And um, yeah, thank you so much for sticking with me and plenty more videos coming uh, for you as we speak. I'm just going to give you a um, close up here and there's that acetate photo in the pocket, which I absolutely love. Um, so look how chunky my albums, my um, traveller's notebooks look in and I'm going to do a flip through on my channel as well. I'm just going to quickly show you the items that I've actually got left. So um, I had three embellishment kits. The kits were sent to me by Freckled Form before I get in trouble. Um, technically, this is an ad. I don't think it is. It's inspiration. Um, and yes, so um, this is exactly what I've got left um, out of three embellishment kits. <clears throat> and all of those 20 layouts that I've done. Um, and yeah, 
got very little left now, but they will, the bits will go into my stash will be donate, donated to my um, nieces who like to scrapbook as well. So thank you very much once again for joining me. I love you all and I will see you all next time for another video, which will be tomorrow. See you. Bye.